Hi, I am just in case and I am expert in every subject. Today I am going to rant about one of the best car that humankind have ever seen, the Dodge Charger. There's a good reason they chose this for the Dukes of Hazard TV show in the 1980s, for it symbolizes all that was good about America's greatest muscle car era. The 1968 spec cars look best, and the enormous 440 cubic inch motor is a legend in its own right. The Charger made its debut in mid-1966. It was better looking, but somewhat more expensive, $2,850 to $3,100. The Charger's interior was different from all other cars, with a full-length center console and all-bucket seating front and rear, inspired by the 1960-1962 Chrysler 300, and was similar to the 1964 Pontiac 2 Plus 2. Numerous interior features were exclusive to the Charger including door panels, courtesy lights, as well as premium trim and vinyl upholstery. The instrument panel did not use regular bulbs to light the gauges, but rather electroluminescence lit the four chrome-ringed circular dash pods, needles, radio, shifter position indicator in the console, as well as clock and air conditioning controls if equipped. The dash housed a 0 to 6,000 RPM tachometer, a 0 to 150 miles per hour speedometer. In 1966, Dodge took the Charger into NASCAR in hopes that the fastback would make their car a winner on the high banks. However, the car proved difficult to handle on the faster tracks because its body generated lift. Drivers would later claim that it was like driving on ice. To solve this problem, Dodge installed a small lip spoiler on the trunk lid that improved traction at speeds above 150 miles per hour. This was made a dealer-installed option in late 1966 and in 1967 because of NASCAR rules made the 1966 Charger the first U.S. production vehicle to offer a spoiler. Small quarter panel extensions were added in 1967. The addition of the spoiler helped David Pearson, driving the number 6 Cotton Owens prepared Dodge cars, to win the NASCAR Grand National Championship in 1966 with 15 first place finishes, though only one. The Capital City 300 in Richmond, Virginia, was achieved using the Charger. The vehicle came with a standard 5.2 liter, 318 cubic inch V8 engine delivering 230 horsepower. Other available engines included a 361 cubic inch V8 engine that created 265 horsepower, or a 6.2 liter, 383 cubic inch V8 engine delivering 325 horsepower. However, it was the availability of a massive 426 cubic inch street Hemi engine that provided 425 horsepower and 490 pound FT of torque that forever defined the vehicle. In 2005, another legendary Charger was brought to life, General Lee, the car that the two brothers, the Dukes of Hazard, drove in 1969 Charger. The General had the Confederate flag painted on the roof and the words General Lee over each door. The windows were always open, as the doors were, allegedly, welded shut. The number 01 is painted on both doors. Also, when the horn is pressed, it plays the first 12 notes from the de facto Confederate States Anthem Dixie. The muscle car performed spectacular jumps in almost every episode, and the show's popularity drove a surging interest in the car. Thank you kindly for your time. Have a nice day.